More grim news from the economy. A key measure of inflation rising faster than expected. Isabel Rosales joins us live now from Washington, D.C. to explain what this means for your wallet, Isabel. Hey, Diane, good to see you again. So there's a brand new report out from the Labor Department and the results, well, economists are calling them disappointing. And it's raising a couple of red flags here. There are concerns that all of these aggressive rate hikes that we've been seeing from the Federal Reserve, well, they're not doing much of anything to bring down record high inflation to a standstill. The Labor Department reporting a larger than expected increase Wednesday in the producer price index. The report gauges prices paid for goods and services before they reach you, the consumer. Energy was up a little under a percent in September. Food prices jumped 1.2 percent. And services are up about a half percent. While these increases represent the wholesale prices, they are likely to be passed on to the consumers in the form of higher grocery prices. Historical experience suggests that uh, the kind of inflation we have rarely returns to normal levels, to target levels of around 2 percent without some kind of recession. The fight to bring down decades high inflation has become a major concern for the Federal Reserve. The central bank has been hiking interest rates at an unprecedented pace in an effort to cool down the economy. But there are concerns that it's happening too fast and could soon lead to a recession. No, look, they've been saying this now how uh, every every six months they say this. Every President Joe Biden remains confident in the economy. I don't think there will be a recession. If it is, it'll be a very slight recession. And Diane, tomorrow is a big day where the consumer price index, those numbers get released. And that gauges how much you and I are spending for goods and services. A big factor to look out for there are oil prices. We saw from OPEC, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, that they cut oil production by 2 million barrels a day. We're likely to see that reflected in the consumer price index. Diane? Isabel, I'm still hung up on what Larry Summers just said about uh, a recession. So how is the Federal Reserve likely to respond? Right. So the central bank has been at it for months, working aggressively with those um, rate hikes, trying to cool down the economy, the inflation right now at a 40 year high. But they're trying to nail what's called a soft landing. And if they do that too quickly, the concerns are it'll plunge us into a recession. We've been seeing from CEOs and economists that that is likely to happen. But then we heard from President Biden just yesterday. He doesn't believe that a recession will happen, but he did concede that there is a possibility of a, quote, very slight recession. I want to show you this real quickly, a public poll uh, of uh, the sentiment about the economy. 22% of people say that economic conditions are good, 41% somewhat poor, 37% saying very poor. But look at that, 40% of people believe conditions will be good in a year. Diane. All right, very interesting. Thank you so much. Isabel Rosales, live for us today in the nation's capital.